Uh, you are about to perform with Ace Frehley again. By the way, isn't that a thrill sitting next to me? Uh, can you not tell? Yeah, I'm yeah. shaking. <laughs> Sometimes You're it's tough for me to pass by a mirror. See what I did there? It's probably tough for the mirror as well. Ooh. There we go. For as long as I can remember playing guitar, I've always done so playing to music. You know, if, if we start with Kiss, that was very early for me. It could have been Strutter. I mean, it's not. That, that sort of you just te te I, I was more of like a rhythmical player. Some guitarists that I know were just like <laughs> you can just like you know, just, if you just say like the song is in A minor, okay, <laughs> and then it just goes. <laughs> Whereas I'm a little bit more like compositional in my in my um, soloing, so it's that's a little bit different. I didn't really know what a bass sounded like. I just remember I got the Bachman Turner Overdrive Not Fragile album, and it was a gatefold, and on the inside, uh, CF Turner, the bass player, had the had a had a black and white Rickenbacker, and I just went, that looks awesome. And of course, I saw Gene Simmons, you know, I became a Kiss fan, I saw Gene playing it, spitting blood, breathing fire, you know, and just looking all badass, and it's like, now I really want to do that. You know, Kiss Alive, came out and I just remember the bass lines, you know, Gene's lines are, are so incredible. They're just so inventive and especially the way they really often don't mimic the guitar parts, you know, they're, they're very different. And then like Firehouse. Whatever. Oh yeah. You know, Gene always had these pulsating lines, you know, and then you watch videos of him and he's kind of doing his head and he's kind of doing the monster thing. And it's just very, it's, it, he's, it's like, it's like the pulse of, of the Kiss sound, you know. There were Kiss songs that were very important, you know, like... Uh, the things like that. As I alluded to earlier, Ace Frehley was, was important um, because as much as Hendrix was like this sort of shaman kind of ethereal being that was no longer living and I mean, just everything that you could want in terms of someone that would capture your imagination and, and, and be like this remote, mysterious figure that you could never truly get to know, Ace Frehley was, was in the here and now and he's a spaceman, so he's this sort of ethereal figure as well, but the music was a bit more approachable for a rudimentary player like myself. And so, you know, just things. You know, stuff like that, I was like, yeah, you know? And, uh, and the way he did the Chuck Berry stuff, you know, like, but he kind of broke it down a little bit, you know, so Chuck's just, he's jazzing it, you know. You know, and Ace is kind of, you know. And he'd even slow it down for you, you know, the whole. You know, very hard to do on acoustic, but you know, you get the idea, and he would speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, so it gave you a goal. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm going to. I'm gonna, end, I'm gonna get all the way to the end of that that sequence. Yeah, that's cool. What was the first riff you learned to play? Uh, the first riff I learned to play was uh, "God of Thunder" by Kiss from Destroyer, I believe it is. something like that. It was actually my dad who showed it to me and in the beginning I, I could only play with one finger so it's like and then when I learned to play with two fingers I felt like okay now I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Ron how about you? Ah I was five years old and I heard the Kiss Alive album for the first time and as soon as I heard it I knew that's what I wanted to do. 
Mm -hmm. Say the Kiss Alive album, Ace Freely solo, where you had that. that stuff that was some of the early stuff the Beatles were a huge love it's like the Beatles made me love music uh, Kiss made me want to get on stage and just you know explode with energy I did pick up guitar first um, before I played bass uh, I'm one of those one of those guys um, but when I was getting into hard rock and uh, music in the mid 70s and mid to late 70s um, at that point I was definitely just playing a tennis racket in front of a mirror and doing my best to mock all the favorite bands and stuff I was listening to. Uh, but it wasn't until I heard uh, Kiss Alive 1, uh, and the song Deuce really is the thing that really did it for me. It's such a simple thing, but it's so heavy. sold after that. The first song that I, I kind of if, uh, learned to play was um, on, a, on a bass was uh, Firehouse, Kiss. I don't know if you recall that song, but it goes. And that's as far as I got. The other shit was confusing as f the or whatever the part went, but just that those first couple notes was enough for me to like I can I can play just like Gene Simmons. And so that was that was plenty enough for me to uh, be satisfied with that. And uh, those 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 bass slides. It's kind of funny the uh, the one time I met Gene Simmons, that's the one question I asked him. I, I said, Hey man, what uh what made you start doing uh, bass slides? And he thought I said what made you want to start playing bass, I think. Because he goes, oh, it was Paul McCartney. And, uh, and I kind of looked at him like, Paul McCartney made you want to do bass slides? I was like, oh, that's f***ed up, but whatever. And then he saw that I looked kind of like displeased with his answer. And he's like, w and then so I asked him again. He's like, oh, he's like, well, that's the bass slides. Oh. And uh, he's like, because I didn't know how to play. I, he's like, I, I sucked at bass. I, and I still suck at bass, but I wanted to do something to fill up that space, but I couldn't play like John Entwistle and go, you know, do stuff like that. So I just went, I said, well, f man, it turned out pretty good. What was the Kiss. first kind of, what was the entry into metal? Probably Kiss. Yeah, for me, definitely Kiss. 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 Heavy stuff. Kiss well, was like really what made me want to play guitar. Yeah. As well as, as, well as the other stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, some, some of the, those, Early, early kiss. Right? I think the first thing I learned was. Which they got from Neil Young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. Hot yeah, yeah I can totally nice, nice. Out. What I had a problem with was uh, just the discipline to learn the whole song. Like, uh, you know, and metal songs have like this crazy intro, riff, and, you know, verse, chorus, pre chorus, and uh, had a shredding guitar solo, and everyone was kind of. Or all my friends were like into trying to play those songs note for note and um, I just didn't have the patience or discipline to sit there and learn the whole song. Uh, from there I you know got a little better at picking uh, songs up and I started doing uh, uh, like a Kiss uh, rock and roll all night. Um, <laughs> I think hearing rock and roll all night on the radio on WPLJ really inspired me. But seeing, that's actually a visual. I saw the uh, image of Ace Freely with his smoking guitar. That made me want to play guitar. <laughs> friend uh, 
I mean, uh, from my friend Tommy Quinn and Sean's house, and I was telling him about this band. I told him I hated Kiss. I can't stand this band. Oh my God, they, you know, they look like idiots. They wear makeup. They vomit on stage. And then sometime later, I was like, you know, I really like this song, Rock and Roll All Night, on the radio. You idiot! That's Kiss. My other big brother, he got a guitar at some point, and uh, it was so cool to watch him play like real songs. So I was a very small kid, and I remember asking from Santa Claus a guitar also. <clears throat> and I, I remember I got like very small plastic guitar with all the strings were just plastic. And I was, I was trying to play uh, Kiss songs, uh, Lick It Up and Heaven's on Fire. Like, how did it go? Like... <laughs> well, not like that, but the idea was there. And uh, yeah, leak it up. It like... yeah, and it took <clears throat> quite many years before I understood what the lyrics were about. <laughs> you got to realize I'm almost 55 years old, so um, I'm, I'm from a way back older school. I mean, anything by Kiss, off of Kiss Alive 1, is really what inspired me as well. First one that I really tried to tackle at the time, it was very, uh, I guess it was a, a real challenge for me, was Black Diamond by Kiss. Um, and I picked that out on my acoustic as well. I had an old Epiphone acoustic, and my parents were like, look, if you take this guitar thing seriously for like a year, we'll buy you an electric guitar. So I did my best. <laughs> Some up in that area anyway. Yeah, give it up for Jason Hook. Damn, he's a five finger death punch. Yeah, yeah, give it up yeah. for him. Um, I kind of, my, uh, my favorite period was the 80s. I'm sorry, I love the 80s. And uh, see this guy here, right? Um, so I was, you know, dieting on um, Van Halen and I loved Kiss. Hey! <laughs> oh yeah. Shock me off the Love Gun record. <laughs> Hey, I just want to give a personal shout out to Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley and the rest of the guys at Kiss. Thank you for taking Steel Panther under your wing. Our, your wing. Thanks for taking us on the uh, on tour with you for the last tour. Yeah, and Brazil. I'm looking forward to working with you guys on your next farewell tour.